One that you wanna listen to. One that you wanna listen to. This is James Appleton reporting for Mer TV, Manchester Underground Rap. Today I'm back in central Manchester once again with a very, very special guest of mine. We've got Chris. How are you doing, man? Thank you for uh, talking to myself and also the fans at Mer TV. What, well, you're, you're a hip hop artist. Yeah. That's, that's a good thing. You sort of like keeping it old school, keeping it tight, keeping it real. That's a massive thing, man. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, I'd say because I've been doing it for a while, so it's just I'm just kind of just keep pushing with it forward really That's How, how's it going at the moment i mean are you working on any, any, any type projects or anything at the moment um just recently i just dropped my um, promo cd um, it's called brat music and um, the promo so it's just basically old tracks and a few new ones through in there just to give people a taste of chris mike um, for future um, projects i've got coming up um, i'm just working on um, probably it's going to be called the brat music um, which will be um, a I'd say mixtape slash um, EP um, and just working on some big tracks for there and videos coming up as well for a few. That's it, so it's going really, really well. So, I mean, how's the promotion going as well? Because that's, that's, a, that's a massive side of it, isn't it? Yeah, promotion, um, with promotion wise, it's just working the um, internet, so yeah, it's like yeah. the Twitter, yeah. um, YouTube, um, MySpace, all on MySpace is a little bit dead. Um, we've got yeah. the Facebook group, um, anybody that wants to, to know more or hear more of Chris Mike, it's um, myspace.com um, forward slash Chris Mike, it's C-R-I-S-M-I-C. -I -I um, for the group, it, for the fi Facebook group, it's um, Mankstar Productions. Um, for Twitter, it's forward slash Chris, Mike, Mankstar, um, and what else? It's at MySpace, Twitter, Facebook, that, and YouTube as well, Mankstar Vision, um, which has got videos on it, um, interviews, um, just anything Mankstar, really. I just want to ask you a quick, ask you something, Chris. I've noticed that, you know, back, if you remember back in the 90s, things were like sort of like it was proper tight in money. Yeah. Everybody was working together, there was a lot of clubs going on, but I've noticed since the 90s till present, it's sort of getting pretty dead, isn't it? Yeah. But I've noticed things are starting to change better yeah. for the good. I reckon, I mean, London had seemed to be taking over the limelight, don't they? Yeah. And I, I think, do you reckon things will change for us this year? Um, yeah, definitely. I think things are changing yeah. this year. Um, there's a lot more collabs, a lot more videos, and just bigger projects that yeah. um, go in. And like, we've got artists from London coming up to Manchester. And working with Manchester yeah. artists, and I'd say Manchester artists are getting a, a bit of play um, at the moment on like the radio station. So I think as time goes on, it's just going to be it's going to be as big here as it is in London at the moment. That's it as well. On Mer TV, we've had such a, a warm response as well from the fans as well, and it's surprising. I mean, with yourself now being on Mer TV, it's surprising how many collabs you get as well. Because yeah. there's so many people out there that are looking, looking for singers, DJs. Yeah. You know, the opportunities are endless, massive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of big collabs, um, yeah. like. When I first started out, um, I was in a group, it was called The Archangels, make sure you um, Google that. Um, yeah, I was in a group called The Archangels, and then we moved on to being Manx Star, which is like a production um, right. type of company. And right. we started working with a lot of artists like Riggs, uh, Licks, Lyrican, um, artists called Motley, who's now gone to Australia and that. But right. we've worked with um, a whole lot of the um, Manchester writers from going back to like 2005. So yeah. it's we've, we've put out a few materials. There's the Manx the Music mixtape, Manx Star, um, Frequencies, um, Manx Star presents Dirty North, um, and the Manx the Music Volume Two, the One Six Eight Edition. So, so, so you, you're quite well known out there. So you must have quite a good fan base then. Um, yeah, we, I say with the Archangels, we had the fan base set there and with Manx Star, but because I'm not performing in a group anymore, I'm, I'm on a solo thing with my promo right. CD. It's right. like it's my first solo outing, so right. I'm just like it's. Sometimes it feels like I'm starting again. Um, yeah. Sometimes. Well, so. sometimes I've noticed that a lot of bands that have split up. I mean, sometimes it's better going solo because it gives you a chance to sort of do your own work as yeah. well. And also, I suppose in a band or something, it, it, the pay's not as good, is it? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess not. The pay's not yeah, as good. But um, I say. Um, do me, do my own thing. It's sort of like first of all, I'm thinking, right, where do I start? What do I yeah. do? But you just fall into it and you just start experimenting with other sounds that you may not have um, yeah. had the um, chance to ex like do before. So it's just building on that and just building up my confidence as a solo rapper, artist, performer, yeah. um, as well. So. so, so what inspires you as an artist? What inspires you to sort of you know, do the lyric writing and all the rest of it? What sort of like makes it all worthwhile for you? Um, I don't know. It's just. Sometimes if things are getting on your chest, you just think, right, I'll write something down, and then um, you make a tune, and it, it's a yeah. good tune, and then people are feeling it. And like I say, what, what's one of the highlights um, of being an artist? Um, it's like when I'm walking down the street around my area, and then you just hear like one of my tracks playing, or a track from yeah. one of the Manxstar CDs yeah. playing, and you think, I'm doing something that yeah, people yeah, yeah. are listening to and feeling, so it's that that keeps you moving Absolutely. forward. And the good thing is with music as well, with the lyric writing, it's, it's really good, because no matter, depending on what mood you're in, depends on what comes out in the lyrics. Yeah. I mean, I remember Michael Jackson, I mean, he was like, 
so random of his lyrics, but he, he was just so naturally good at yeah. what he did. Yeah, definitely. It, is, it always depends on what you're feeling. Yeah. Like some yeah. of my tracks to be um, quite deep, or yeah, yeah, yeah. some people might view as negative. But then there's a completely other side to me where it's just where it's just Chris Mike on a really good day, where I'm yeah. just happy and I'm just doing my thing and I'm just swaggering it out, so to speak. So yeah. yeah. So Chris, are you working on any you know big clubs at the moment? Anybody um, you working with any type projects going? Um, any projects? Let me just promote and plug my CD. It's Brat Music, the promo. Oh right, we've also got a copy of the CD there, just want to show that to the camera. Yeah. Uh, that's a uh, Brat Music promo, uh, just want to get that to the camera. That out, so how long has how this been yeah, releasing? It's been out for a couple of months, it's free for download as well. If you just Google Chris Mike or Mike Star, Brat Music, that should come up with the link. Um, you'll be able to download it from the Facebook page, the MySpace page, um, or if you hit me up on Twitter, Chris Mike Mankstar, um, I can just give you the link there as well. So there's 25 tracks on it, old, Definitely. new. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's looking good as well. I mean, I suppose how, how's it selling at the moment? It'd be people yeah, enjoying it. Not selling it. It's, it's free. Oh, it's so free yeah, because well, okay. it's just my promotional yeah. tool, just to say, yeah. just to say to people, I'm still here. I'm still doing my thing. I've yeah. not. I'm not just jumped on the scene out of nowhere. I've been yeah. doing it from day. So here's what I've did so far and some new things to yeah. to ride to in the meantime while I'm still working on my new thing, new That's stuff. Fantastic. So that's what I say to the fans. Make sure you uh, contact Chris because obviously you can get a copy of this CD and it's well, you know, it's probably well worth it. I mean, I've noticed a lot of artists in the past that have started off on the streets and then gone on to the mainstream uh, market. So yeah, absolutely. So big up to Chris here with this fantastic LP. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, so that's a big thing there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and with, with regards to um, collabs, um, I say mainly because I was working in a group before and like doing yeah. solo um, projects with other artists, like because I'm also a beat maker as well. Right. So um, I've collabed in that way, but on a um, like an artist vibe. As of yet, I've not secured any. Um, Right. Um, collabs other than OG, um, one of the Hit 'Em Up originals. Um, I have did tracks with Licks, Riggs, um, like produced for Lyric, and I've also got um, produced a track that had um, an artist called D Rider featuring Scorcher on as well. So um, it's just I'm just trying to build up my artist yeah. um, collab repertoire at the moment. So uh, that's good as well. So how long, how long does this take to record then? Um, I mean, there must be some work behind it. Well, it's just I'd say. <laughs> to be honest, it did take about a year and yeah. a bit, yeah. but. I'd say that's it's partial writing, um, plotting things, and then just life just getting yeah, in the way. Yeah. So you just try. I'm trying to live both things at the same time. So yeah. it does put delays on recording um, and things like that. But I'm happy when it came out. So it's, it's it's here now. And the good thing is as well. I suppose if I'm honest with you, Chris, I suppose sometimes it's worth delaying an album to make sure that you know you take your time on it yeah. and sort of like the fans get the best material. Because I know it's a lot of people are sort of rushed it and it's not been so yeah. good. But I understand that. I mean that's that's a big achievement, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I say definitely. Um, and with my, my new project, um, Brat Music, that's yeah. going to be, I'm focusing on the tracks, like track by track, I'm not just going to put it out in like within a week or something, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. of recording it, yeah. I want to just record the tracks one by one, listen to them, make sure they the hit hard enough because um, it's just not about just putting out random tracks that I'm that I'm mediocre about, I just yeah, want, want tracks that I feel in my heart that's a good yeah, yeah. track and people are going to relate to it. Absolutely, so one last thing I want to ask you is that this year, I mean it's a big year, I mean, are you going to be maybe you know doing some stage performances, maybe get maybe getting a little street video out there, maybe? Um, yeah, um, definitely. Um, I want to get a street video done. I've already got one um, with an artist called OG. Oh, um, that's the pop pop video. Make sure you go on um, Max Star Vision on YouTube for that one. Yeah. Um, I say. Um, with regards to others, I've got one more in the um, process at the moment. I'm not going to give you the name for it yet, um, but yeah, that's in the process of making. I'm just like, I've already filmed a few scenes for that. Um, just needs wrapping up, and then that should be out hopefully next awesome. month. Um, with regards to performances, still try to get um, to be supporting acts for um, artists coming to Manchester, um, and just try to get on any shows because I feel that. I've practiced and I've got a decent enough set with yeah, my yeah. DJ um, to just smash a show down. Just need the opportunity to get on that stage. So, so it's looking big. Yeah. Well, I want to uh, take this opportunity to thank you for uh, also speaking to myself and also the fans at Mer TV. Yeah. It's a big year. What I say to make sure you look out for this guy this year because he's putting, the, you know, he's got a fantastic CD out. You know, he's going to be out doing some stage work. He's going to be getting a video together. So it's a big year for this guy and also for uh, Manage 2010 Movement. So thank you so much, man. All right. This is James Appleton reporting for Mer TV, reporting for Manchester Underground Rap. See you all soon and bye for now.